You may have heard of Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia that's sinking so rapidly that the country is going to move its capital. Maybe you've wondered, is the city literally sinking or do we just mean that sea levels are rising and it is getting flooded? Well, you're right that the sea level is rising, but the city is actually sinking too. And it is not the only one. Coastal regions may face flooding, either because the sea level is rising or because land is subsiding. Or it can be a combination of both. So, how does that happen? Some of it can be attributed to natural events like tectonic movements. But the largest cause of land subsidence is human activity. And that's why subsidence is often concentrated in rapidly expanding megacities. When resources like groundwater are extracted from beneath the ground, or when buildings get too heavy, soil is compacted and the land sinks. This process is also known as land subsidence. To find out how quickly cities are sinking, we looked at satellite images in 48 of the world's most populous coastal cities. On a local level, we found that land subsidence is often very variable. That means that some parts of one city could be subsiding very rapidly while another area rises. Take Jakarta for example. This map shows changes in land heights in the city. The blue portions indicate subsidence, while the reds indicate rising land. Where there's more human activity, there's generally more land subsidence leading to the concentrations of blue you see in this map. Across the world, there's also lots of variability. The most affected areas are subsiding at up to 43 mm per year. To put that into perspective, global sea level is rising at only 3.7 mm per year. That means that some parts of the world are sinking 10 times faster than seas are rising. In fact, 44 of the 48 cities we studied have areas that are subsiding faster than the current rate of global sea level rise. The twin issues of sea level rise and land subsidence means that many cities are facing a complex challenge. It will not be easy, but cities will have to rise to the challenge and address both land subsidence and sea level rise to keep communities safe. <laughs>